guys welcome back to my channel so today is an exciting video it is a collab with the gorgeous glitter a little here on youtube or if you know her as chloe morton uh we got to talking on twitter and decided to film a autumn slash fall reveal from a makeup look i've gone for a more natural simple eye makeup with a dark lip and she's gone for the opposite she's gone for a more dark eye and a more wearable lip so you have the choice of two i will leave the link to her video down below make sure to give her some love she's absolutely amazing so consistent on youtube one of the first people i ever subscribed to just because i found her really relatable and if you're like a similar age to me you should probably subscribe and do the same she's honestly so nice as well and yeah i was so excited when we decided to collab so make sure to give her some love i will leave all her social media links down below yeah uh if you like the look of this makeup then please keep watching so to start off i'm going to be using my anastasia beverly hills dip brow in medium brown and my benefit gimme brow i think this is the light one yet so this is in light medium just to fill in my brows i am going to be doing this off camera just because i already have a tutorial on it so if you want to see that i will link it down below with eyebrows done i'm going to move on to my eyes first just because it's going to be more of a winged out look and i prefer to do my eyes first before my foundations just in case there's any fallout with the eyeshadow so i am going to be using my mac painterly paint pro on a morphe M224 brush just to apply that. To highlight my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to be using Gesso by MAC uh, just because this is going to be a matte look. So I want to use something. Uh, matte to highlight the inner corners this time. Just buffing that in the inner corner on a fluffy crown brush and applying it really softly as a brow bone highlight just under the brow. <laughs> Our initial transition shade, I wanted to keep it really soft because most of the eyeshadows we're going to be using are really cool toned. So I'm just going in with Soft Peach by Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Couture World Traveller Palette, I think this is. And just blending that really softly into the crease on a Sigma E40 brush. So you can be as messy as you want with this, taking it as far out as you want because that's why we don't do foundation first, just because we're going to be cleaning up with a wipe. So you can be as messy as you like. Then, using my Naked 3 palette, I haven't used this in forever, so I thought I'd use it for this tutorial. I'm just taking the shade Limit, Ooh, the Limit, just to deepen up the socket on a Zoeva 227. just going back in with my Sigma brushes to blend the two together and just building up the colour gradually because it's quite a soft colour then on the same Zoeva brush and the same Naked palette I'm taking the shade Nuna so it's basically uh, the same undertone as one we used before just slightly darker just to deepen up the socket further On the Sigma Small Tapered E45 Blending Brush, I am taking the shade Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Then going back to the Urban Decay palette, I am taking the shade strange as my lid colour. 
keeping everything very matte. Like so. Then just going back in with the same brush as before and a tiny bit more Swiss chocolate just to buff those two together. Then also on the same brush, I am taking the shade Embark by MAC as well, just to finally deepen up the socket. Then using any sort of makeup remover, I'm just gonna use a wipe. I'm just gonna clean up the edge from the bottom of my lower lash line towards the tail of my brow. Now onto eyeliner, I'm gonna be using uh, MAC Black Track and probably a bit of NYC, the NYC liquid liner just to get a clean cut. I do have a winged eyeliner tutorial, so I will link that down below as well. So this is the liner done. I'm then gonna go ahead and apply mascara and I'm gonna be using the Sin... Sinuo City Lash Mascara by Sigma and just applying it to my top lashes because I prefer to use the MAC Extended Play for my bottom lashes. I love this mascara. I have a discount code with Sigma by the well, by the well, by the way as well. I'll leave that in the description bar down below to save you some money if you guys wanted to get any of the brushes I use or this mascara. Now onto lashes, because I've created a bit of a flick, well a bit of a flick, a big flick cat eye look with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna stick that, stick with that with the lashes. So I'm gonna be using the Doha lashes by Lily Galici. And I'm just gonna apply those now. So this is what the eyes look like with the lashes. Uh, these I think must be in my top three favorite style of lashes ever. They wing out just the perfect amount and they're so fluttery, kind of natural looking for lashes because I think they're mink ones, but yes, I am in love with them. But now onto the face makeup. To prime my skin, I am using the Smashbox Primer Water. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W4 Golden Natural and just buffing that into my skin with a beauty blender. You guys are probably going to tell me that this foundation is really yellow, but that's the kind of look I like in a foundation. It does match the colour of my neck, guys. I'm not just being stupid. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade number one, Fair. I think this is the palest one that they do. Just to highlight under my eyes, uh, above my brow bone, down the centre of my nose, and just all the regular places. Sticking with the matte theme, I'm going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm going to be doing the baking method just because that's the way I find I get the most flawless matte looking skin. So I'm just going to be taking a powder puff 
and kind of dabbing it into the top part of the powder puff, like that, so it's just on the top, and then just pressing it into the places I've applied the concealer. What's left to lose if we I know I look really silly, <laughs> but um, while that is cooking, I'm just gonna apply a contour, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, in the shade, I think it's the light to medium one, and this is the shade Fawn, just to my cheekbones, with the Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. I'm going to be using my MAC 137 brush just to dust away the powder. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, because you can't stop it from shining through. To highlight and bronze my cheeks, I'm using the Laura Mercier Iridescent Face Highlighter Powder thing. But really lightly, just because oh, everything else is quite matte, but I do like to have a bit of shine to my cheekbones. Then for a bit of blush, I am going to be taking this shade here from the Morphe 10D palette, just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. finish off my eyes I'm just taking Nuna from the Urban Decay palette um, from the Urban Decay palette that we used earlier I'm just running it under my eye on a pencil brush then as always just applying my bottom lash mascara which is MAC extended play The eyes. Now onto lips, I'm lining my lips using the Jordana Retractable Pencil Liner in the shade Cabernet. And before you guys ask, I get any kind of American smaller brand product like Jordana, uh, when I use Milani and stuff like that, I get it all from Amazon. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through Then to fill my lips I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trust Issues So 
this is the finished look guys I hope you like it make sure to check out Chloe's video I will leave the link to it down below obviously like I said before she's done a more dark dramatic eye and a more natural lip so if the choice of two this is the first fall autumn look I've done on my channel and I it's making me so excited I can't wait to do more for you guys make sure to be following me and Chloe both on Instagram I am at Rachel and she is at underscore Chloe Morton I will leave all of our social media links down below make sure to give her some love too but until next time guys i'll see you soon bye